Sorry, man. Uh, but just curious, how much uh, this fight was rescheduled a couple of times? You had a, a different opponent originally. How much did all of that uh, complicate things for you? It doesn't really compl complicate things at all. we got to come here with one mission and one mission only to break our opponent, no matter who they put in front of me. We're here to make a statement at all times. Now, there's been a lot of a talk about the uh, empty arena factor. A lot of the guys who have been through a tough or uh, contender series have said, hey, we kind of got a taste for that. Uh, are you in that camp as well, or what do you expect? Yeah, exactly. I already had a taste of that in the contender series fight, so this is home for me. I got into the UFC this way, and I'm going to just make another, make another excitement fight this way, same way. And as far as uh, training in a pandemic, I mean, what did your fight camp look like for this? Were you able to get the sparring partners that you needed? Were you able to keep things fairly normal? Yeah, I kept things fairly, fairly normal. Just uh, kept it super small, super tight, super clean. More in regards for my sparring partners and everything, all my training partners, make sure their families and everything was safe so we stayed clean. And everybody I needed came through, and shout out to them. All right, well, sounds good. One last one for me. I mean, there's a, a main event coming up on this uh, that you've got some familiarity with. Glover Texera is going against Anthony Smith. How do you see that playing out? Um, I like both fighters, but uh, I think Anthony Smith, my guy, he's a longer fighter. He has a little bit more tools, and I think he'd be able to get it, get it done. All right, man, thanks very much. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. And members of the media, again, if you're looking to ask a question, please select the raise hand icon in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. <laughs> Up next, we have Shaquille Majori. Shaquille, please go ahead. Hey, Carl. Thank you so much for making the time today. Just one for me. Uh, I, I can't tell if Marvin is underrated or overrated in the eyes of a lot of fans, but it seems like that Izzy fight is aging better and better with time. How do you assess your opponent? Um, I don't really care if he's overrated or underrated. I think he's my opponent, and my only goal is to finish him and make it exciting. Sounds good. Thank you. And as we wait for some more questions to come in, Carl, you are on the uh, verge of putting together your first three-fight win streak in the UFC. Can you talk a little bit about your evolution as a fighter and as an athlete since your UFC debut to where you are now? Um, my evolution is pretty, pretty drastic. I'm, uh, I'm pretty, pretty young in the sport. So I started in glory kickboxing and then came to UFC. Uh, everybody was like, oh, he's a kickboxer. He doesn't have a ground game. Started submitting people. Now they're saying, oh, well, now he's a grappler. No, I'm not a grappler. I'm a mixed martial artist now. I'm coming full circle. Now I'm starting to learn more and starting to evolve as a fighter and starting to show. So everybody who got the questions, every fight you're going to see more and more of me evolution, me evolving and, uh, going out there to hurt some of my opponents.